be Laureen, and you, Diana. Please sit. Thank you. I wasn't sure what to get you, so I just got a coffee, one cream, two sugars. I like it black, but thank you. That's fine. We are interested in doing a weekly dramatic series based on the Ecumenical Liberation Army. And I'll tell you what the first show has to be. A two-hour special on Mary Ann Gifford. We open with that bank ripoff, which is terrific stuff. And then we tell the story of how a rich young heiress like Mary Ann Gifford becomes a flaming revolutionary. Would your people be interested in making such a movie for us? The Ecumenical Liberation Army is an ultra-left sect creating political confusion with wildcat violence and pseudo-insurrectionary acts, which the Communist Party does not endorse. The American masses are not yet ready for open revolt. We would not want to produce a television show celebrating historically deviational terrorism. Even better. I see the story this way. Poor little rich girl kidnapped by ultra-left sect. She falls in love with the leader of the gang, converts to his irresponsible violence. But then, she meets you. Understands the true nature of the ongoing people's struggle for a better society. And in an emotion-drenched scene, she leaves her deviational lover and dedicates herself to you and the historical inevitability of the socialist state. Right. That will be better, of course. What kind of numbers are we talking? We'll give you our top deal, which I think is 2, 15, and 25. You'll have to talk to Charlie Kincaid about that. But as long as we're talking series now, I'll tell you what I want. I want a lot more film like the bank ripoff the ecumenical sent in. The way I see the series is, every week we open with the authentic footage of an act of political terrorism, taken on the spot and in the actual moment. Then, we go into the drama behind the opening film footage. That's your job, Miss Hobbs. You've got to get the ecumenicals to bring in that footage for us. The network can't deal with them directly. They are, after all, wanted criminals. The ecumenicals are an undisciplined gang, and the leader is an eccentric to say the least. He calls himself the Great Old Med Khan and wears a hussar shako. Miss Hobbs, I'm offering you one hour of primetime television every week into which you can stick whatever propaganda you want. We're talking 30 to 50 million people a shot. It's a lot better than handing out mimeographed pamphlets on ghetto street corners. I'll have to talk this over with the Central Committee. And I better check this out with the great old Mad Khan. I'll be in LA until Saturday and I'd like to get this thing rolling. I think we're going to be good friends, Diana. Likewise.